can make it more effective to increase cancer cell death without harming normal cells. So there you go. Additionally, the National Institute on Drug Abuse also referred similar recent studies which revealed marijuana can kill certain cancer cells and reduce the size of other existing cancer cells. Evidence from one animal study suggests that extracts from the whole plant marijuana can shrink one of the more serious types of brain tumors. And uh, anybody know how horrible it is to have your skull cut open and your brain operated on? That's like one of the most terrible things you can possibly imagine. I mean, really, what's more terrifying than that? Despite all the numerous proven benefits of marijuana, the Fed, our beautiful government, wants it to remain illegal, and the FDA uh, wants to make uh, drugs out of it to charge you a fortune for it. And it says the worst part is that even without THC, marijuana is still illegal, as Anthony Gucci already wrote. Um, the truth, marijuana is backed by more clinical research than most pharmaceutical drugs. And if you look up Anthony Gucciardi, you'll find all these sources to prove that I'm not making that up either. Uh, guys, one more story to get to. And many of you know what that one story is going to be. Of course, it is what all of you wait for. It is the dum dee dum dee dum dee of the day. Oh, let's get some dum dee music louder than that. Oh, uh, well, that just feels good, doesn't it? We're going to make fun of idiots, aren't we? Yes, we are. That's always how we close out the show. We make fun of idiots in the Dumdy of the Day Award. Listen to this. It'll make you sick. Water in Colorado County back to pre-event conditions after toxic mining spill. In other words, the water looks about as normal as a $3 bill, and the EPA is saying, it's safe, go ahead and drink it. The, the accident didn't bother you a bit. EPA says water quality data shows the Animas River water in La Plata County is back to normal. But impact of heavy metal load in river, se river sediment could last years. Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Gina McCarthy who gets the dumb D of the day, said late Wednesday that data shows water quality in one affected Colorado county has returned to pre-event conditions following toxic mining spill in the Animas River. That would be impossible unless, of course, it was already poison. The Colorado Department of Public Health and, Environmental, and, and the Environment also said on Wednesday the people in the city of Durango can now drink water from the Animas River. They can also get cancer of the liver and die. That's perfectly okay. They don't mind a bit. The EPA caused the spill of acidic and heavy metal-laden mining wastewater Wednesday while investigating the inactive gold, King Gold Mine near Silverton, Colorado. So rather than admit they had a problem, they just lie to you and tell you it's okay to drink it. We have water quality data from August 7th. 8th and 9th from La Plata County that shows levels have returned to pre-event conditions, McCarthy said at a news conference in Durango. But La Plata County, which includes Durango, is just one small part of the land mass affected by the toxic plume as a link for it, which initially tested for high levels of lead, arsenic, and other heavy, heavy metals. One week after the spill, the plume had flowed into the San Juan River and has closed waterways flowing through Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and the Navajo Nation. That's, that's how the EPA works for you. Isn't that great? The EPA's investigation was meant to remediate the site as part of the project on the nearby Red and Bonita Mine. The headwaters from the Animas River, primarily Cement Creek, where the EPA spilled this slurry, has been known to be polluted for years and don't support aquatic life. There, some toxic acid mine waste has been leaching into tributaries from the Animus for decades. But the sheer volume and color of the waste leached Wednesday made the spill remarkable. And I'm looking at it, it looks like a urine sample. The EPA, from a dehydrated man no less, the EPA initially estimated that 1 million gallons of toxic orange-brown sludge with the acidity of beer, had spilled into the Animus River, but four days later upped that estimate to three million gallons of fluorescent waste. Drink it, you'll be fine. 
McCarthy said there is a hiatus on similar investigations at mines across the U.S. until officials determine the cause of the spill. The EPA, who I'm sure by now you really trust, is conducting an internal investigation, I feel much better, and said that it is expecting an independent inquiry. Yeah, well, I expect to be lied to. If you touch this water or bathe in it, you're swimming it, you're a nutcase, you almost deserve it. Even after the shocking orange-colored initial plume abated, that would be a urine sample that's bleeding, hundreds of gallons of acidic mining wastewater continued to spill every minute. Oh, that's remarkable. Setting ponds are now capturing water spilling out of the mine in effort for the EPA to treat the waste before it's released into the creek. Um, let's face it. We need to keep mining. We know that. I'm not saying that. But at least let's be honest when there's an accident. Don't just cover it up. Just say we need it to mine and things happen. You have insurance for a reason. If an accident happens, pay. But don't poison everybody within the vicinity because if you do, you may get the dumdy of the day as you just did. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange uh, doing political commentary for The Media Speaks. Make sure that you go to The Media Speaks. Look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. We're posting all the time. And if you want to donate to help me do what it is that uh, Christelle and I do here, then you can do that at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. And again, today we got paid zero dollars and zero cents to do the show. So do me a favor, share it. Get it out there because it doesn't matter if it makes a lot of money. It just matters if it's right. And it is. Good night, friends. God bless.